Dog owners across Ontario are feeling frustrated that pet grooming isn't considered an essential service. Unlike people who can easily go without a haircut, one woman says when her dog Bailey isn't groomed, she is at risk of infections and other health concerns. Her nails are breaking. They are so long, which results in her bleeding. Um, she has a few mats on her legs that are so tight to her skin that they're getting painful for her. The owner of a three-year-old Labradoodle is trying to take matters into her own hands. But like many other dog owners, it isn't working out too well. She will not let me brush her, bathe her, do any kind of maintenance on her. Um, she doesn't get aggressive, but she nips at me because she doesn't want me doing something that somebody else has been doing for her since six months old. While veterinary services and pet food stores are functioning in some capacity, dog groomers aren't deemed an essential service in Ontario. One Perry Sound dog groomer made this video on TikTok garnering over 25,000 views, calling on the government to add those in her line of work to the list of essential services. My clients did everything they could to keep up with it, but they could not keep up with it. And as you can see, by some of the photos, it caused eye infections, skin infections, excessive and extreme matting, and uh, overgrown nails to the point where the nails were actually growing into the pads. I've been asked like so many times now to, to groom people's dogs against restrictions and it puts me in such a bad situation because I want to help them. I want to help them so badly. Michelle Ogilvy says at a time many Canadians are dealing with financial strain, by not allowing groomers to operate, the government is adding to the burden. You're causing people to potentially have enormous vet bills for things that could be easily avoided. And these animals having to go through painful procedures. Yes, she's an animal. She deserves proper care too. I can go without a haircut, she can't. We reached out to the province for a response, but did not hear back by our deadline.